now the preservation of the remains of Tim, one of the last remaining great Tusker elephants in the country who died on Tuesday, has begun. Now this comes after the mighty mammal took its final bow, interestingly, days apart with the demise of retired President Moi, under whose order the Jumbo received protection. Zena Bismail takes us to the National Museums of Kenya, where the preservation has begun. A towering figure, a gentle giant, and an ambassador for his species. Tim was one of the largest and most famous elephants to whom the Amboseli National Park was home. However, his notoriety in crop destruction earned him the ill feelings of many a farmer. In fact, he's said to have been speared three times in his lifetime. Right now, to do on the village now, na akona menomzuri na akona kubo menokuba na na chuka sana mana atutak watu akaribi. Tim had hit the 50-year-old Mac. His tusks had grown so long that they reached the ground, like other great African tuskers. He died on Tuesday at the park, and his body was transported to the National Museums of Kenya in Nairobi for preservation. A tusk that is elephant. Because Tim is very huge, it couldn't fit into the lab space we have. We have to make, have a makeshift of a theater outside here. So we are now skinning it to recover the skin, treat the skin, and thereafter we are going to go for the organs and the bones. We are going to preserve all these separately, and after some time we are going to construct them to make Tim look like it's alive. Tim will be our first elephant to be skinned and systematically mounted for taxidermic uh, exhibition. Tim's likeness will now stand tall next to another revered tusker known as Ahmed, an emblematic elephant known to many in the 1960s and 70s, one who enjoyed presidential protection. Ahmed and Tim share some commonalities in terms of being the icons of conservation of elephants. Tim's tusks are now under the protection of the Kenya Wildlife Service the left one weighing 61 kilograms and the right one 73 kilos. 31 years ago, the late President Daniel Toroiti Charapmoy personally set fire to 13 tons of ivory, the largest decimation of ivory by any country. And just after Moy took over his last bow, Big Team, who had enjoyed immense protection by Moy's decree, also passed on. He leaves behind a younger male elephant named Greg with whom he roamed the park for years. Well, 50-year-old team represented all the different values, both negative and positive, that humans place on an elephant's life. To poachers, he was a target. To farmers, a costly nuisance. To tourists, he was a marvel. And to conservationists, he was a symbol of hope that conservation efforts are winning. Zainab Ismail, NTV.